stress this enough it's very important when you're running this stuff because you might not notice that you've got a little puncture or something check your damn tyres regular once a week or something like that just have a quick squiz round about them have a look around the whole thing not just what you can see rotate the wheel and look for damage okay okay so today people i know it's been a long time really haven't had much to do it here so um what we're going to do today is we're going to deal with something that happens to us all eventually um i'm going to do something about puncture stuff now i have a slow puncture on the back tire i can't find it so i'm going to deploy an old friend to help me with this to solve the problem you may have heard of it other brands are available we're going to use goop I hope it sounds alright on this because, well, tough. I don't have any other option. I can't find a media kit for my GoPro, so I don't know where the hell that is. Oh, my key's too far away to open the seat. So, I'm going to show you, first of all, what I carry with me in case of puncture. It's nothing special. Um, let me open the seat, though. Oh, it was open already, was it? There we go. Right, so I have a little portable compressor, which as you can see has been up and down the top box quite a lot. Um, AliExpress Special, 9 quid, something like that. And it's handy if you just need to pump the tyre up, you know what I mean? Um, you don't need to pump the tyre up. If you've got a bloody hole in it, it's a bit of a different story. So I've got two kits that I've used in the past and I don't have either of these on it at the moment. I prefer this one. This is this little... Oh, homemade version, so these are little puncture keys, so you, you basically screw the, you take the offending puncture out, you screw that in, you pump it up with the cartridges and that's you, you know, it's a kind of get you home thing, um, so I've got spare cartridges there for it as well, but I do also have this one here, um, which is more of the old school, you know, ream out the puncture kind of thing, I'd rather not have to do any of that to start with, so I'm skipping them, and I'm going to go with something I know that works. So we're going to goop it. Show you how. Right, so tools we're going to need for this. Make sure you can see. Yeah, you can see it off right now. Uh, we're going to need tire sealant. There's loads of other ones I like. Goop, it's just one I use. It's like 10 quid a bottle on Amazon. Halford used to sell it. I don't think they do anymore. Uh, you're going to need... You don't really need it because you get one... In the bottle of goop, that's a core, it's to remove the middle of the valve, uh, the Schrader valve, so that you can actually get the stuff in the tyre. Um, but I've got one of these, this was like three quid in the Halfords, it's a lot better having the metal one. You're also going to need tyre pressure gauge, choose your own poison, and a way of inflating the tyre again. So, I'm very fortunate. My wife wasn't looking in Aldi one day and I managed to get a compressor out of it and she wasn't paying attention so what we're going to do got the bikes up in the centre stand cap off we're going to take the valve out it's going to let all the air out of the tyre it's going to get noisy for a battle time can I skip forward past that stuff if I can um, and let you see move these around uh, so you're just using this wee bit here and you'll feel it when you put it in, you'll feel it when it kind of gets a grab it and there we go, starting to go That's what holds all the air in your tyre, totally little thing Somewhere safe so we don't lose it, all the air out of the tyre and we need 250ml of goop for a bike tyre um, it's marked down the side of the bottle uh, in increments there, when you get there what you need to do, you're supposed to put it at 8 o'clock um, which it is if I look around the other side, I'm not going on the other side though because the exhaust there in the way you need to put this bit of tubing on there securely over the top of the valve like that and then you simply squeeze and wonder why you forgot your cloth ah cloth there we go because there's always a little bit of spillage with this in my experience it's not bad or anything you know what i mean it's not going to kill in it's not going to hurt out but it just looks shit okay <sighs> Yeah, that's 
plenty. I'm just checking the side. Yeah, that's just about bob on. Cool. Perfection's the enemy are good enough. Now what this stuff does, in case you don't know, is it's actually quite clever. There's loads of different brands. I first found out about this stuff at a bike rally uh, up in Aviemore in Scotland called Thunder in the Glens. There's a Harley rally, so it was up there on the Harley. And it's tyre safe or something, the guy a puncture safe was the one they were selling. And the guy was doing it for you and he was installing it in your bike and it shows you I mean, he's got a wee test thing where uh, it's like stabbing the wheel with nails and stuff and you know you hear it hiss but by the time the tyre rotates around it stopped leaking. This stuff's made the chemicals and little particles of rubber that essentially um, fill any small gaps. I think you say up to a couple of centimetres, I mean that seems excessive to me. Uh, sorry, millimetres. Um, but I mean, considering what you normally find when you've got a burst tyre, you're talking like a nail or a screw or a staple or something like that. It's perfectly fine for that. Now I don't like using this plastic one because they break. So I prefer having my metal one. Right, so it's time to reinflate the tyre. Bring in one of my favourite toys, my compressor. But, put it under the seat or is it in? Yes. Best thing ever, elbow valve. Don't leave it on. I find if you leave them on, the tyre tends to lose pressure. But how easy is this compared to, you know, try to use one of the petrol station ones or something like that, do you know what I mean? I don't particularly trust the gun attached to the compressor because it was really cheap. It's just a nice wee gauge. I'm up 40 odd, so I'm just going to let a bit of air out. I think it's, a, it's meant to be 33 on your own and 36 with two folk. I'm a big fat bastard, so I'll put it up to 36. Now, there is a common point of courtesy I'm going to point out here. If you choose to use this stuff, when you go to get a new tyre fitted, I'm going to put the scoot on and let it rotate for a wee bit in a couple of minutes. Spread it out. When you go to get a new tyre fitted, tell your tyre fitter this stuff's in there, because it can be quite messy. And if you surprise them with it, they'll be a bit pissed off. Um, it is water-based, it cleans up dead easy. It's not like other ones that are kind of chemical-based, okay? Other than that guys, take care, I'm going to do the front, but I'll shut up for that one.
on that took what 10 minutes if that one including setting up so <laughs> kind of annoyed I haven't done it before now but that should hopefully it's not going to stop you getting stranded but it'll reduce the chances <laughs> means you've much more chance of getting to make it home but I, eh, other than that I'll catch you later um, who knows maybe get a bit of shit commuting next day